Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a little bit about the X Windows system and window managers. The attempt here is to hopefully show the exact job that the X Windows system is doing and the exact job that the window manager is doing. Let's get started. Uh, I have the X Windows system already started and in order for it to stay running you have to have at least one program running. That program that I have running is X Term. It's just sitting up here in the upper left menu or the upper left corner of the screen. You'll notice there's no background, uh, there's no image on the background, there's no color, there's nothing going on back there. There's no contextual menus if I right click on the desktop or the root window as it's called or anything going on. There's nothing to do on this uh, on this system. I can start programs by typing them in to the terminal that I've got open here. Let's just as an example say I want to open Abby Word. I can type ABI Word and you'll see that started there. I can't move it around the screen because there's no window manager running. No matter what I do, if I try to hold down a key modifier to move this window around, it doesn't matter because there's no window manager running. Um, I can type in blah blah blah, I can use the program just like normally, but I can't actually move the window or do anything else with it. So let me close this out, I'm done with it. Close dot saving changes. One thing I do want to point out, um, when there's no window manager running, uh, the c default behavior of the mouse, you would call it sloppy focus. If I try to type right now, I don't know if you can really see that or not, but I, there's no words going into the terminal emulator. But when I hold the mouse over top of that box, now I can type in... <coughs> I can type words into the terminal emulator and have things happen. There I just open leaf, LeafPad. Okay, I'm going to close out LeafPad. And uh, next, <coughs> first I want to show you if I exit the, um, the terminal emulator, it completely closes out the X session. Let's go back into the X session real quick. And right back where we started. Okay, I've edited the XNet RC file. I'm using Abby Word to do that, um, just so just so you can see the words. And the first line here it says X clock geometry negative zero negative zero, and I got the ampersand sign at the end of that. What that is telling the X window system to do is to start the X clock program and to start it in the lower right corner. The negative zero negative zero means start it uh, from the negative coordinates, which would be, you know, from the bottom on the right side. And the ampersand sign means to background that process. The next line says X term geometry plus zero plus zero. What that does is it starts the X terminal in the upper left corner. Go ahead and exit this file. I'm not going to save it um, I, because I've already saved it as a regular. Now I'm going to exit the X window system. I'm going to bounce straight back into it and you'll see the only difference this time is that we have a clock in the lower right corner and we have the X term up here in the upper left. Again, I can't move the clock around because there's no window manager running, there's no borders controlling it. I think that point is fairly well understood so I'm not going to harp on it anymore. I'm going to exit the uh, terminal up here. Now you may think that when I exit the terminal the X window system will continue running because I have a clock in the lower right corner but I want you to notice that it does not continue running. When I exit the terminal the uh, X window system exit exits. I'm going to uh, change the order in which these programs start. I'm going to have the X term uh, program run first. I'm going to have X clock run second and you'll see why in just a moment. Now we're going to do something a little, almost the same, but a little bit different. I'm going to go back into the X window system. And if you recall, I told the XNet RC file to start the X term session first and to start the clock second. Again, uh, because there's no window manager, I can't move anything around. But watch what happens when I try to exit the terminal. Voila! The X window system does not exit because the clock is still running. And the, important, the thing to realize there is the last program that is entered into the X and the RC file acts as the control program for the X window system. And I'll get back to this point a little bit later on why that really matters. But the important thing to understand right now is that the, uh, when I exited the term, the terminal emulator, the X window system did not exit because the clock is still running. Since there's no window manager running, there's no way for me to kill this clock. I can't right click on it and exit. I can't. There's no X button for me to click on, so the only way I can get out of the X window system is to press Control-Alt and Backspace.